Hi, it's Emily and I'm here in Leicester Square on day two of the UK's premier horror film festival, Fright Fest 2008. Well, we just about survived the carnage of the opening night, but we're craving more. And what with today's menu of redneck zombies, twisted sexual fantasies, all the way to slick Hollywood horror, I think we're going to be very satisfied indeed. Let's take a look. I'm with Steve Goldman here, and we've just had you've had just had the UK premiere of your film, yes, Trailer indeed. Park of Terror. Trailer Park of Terror. Trailer Park of Terror has Norma, who is a undead trailer trash. So you learn how Norma became sort of an undead reaper for Satan, because you know, you know, in the South everything's for Jesus. Well, in this <laughs> southern trailer park, everything's for Satan, and we tell the story of uh, six young sinners. Uh, on their way back from Jesus Camp, um, oh. they sort of, uh, well, Norma's job is to reap for Satan, and uh, they are unfortunately destined to go to hell. You've just had the UK premiere. Yep. Uh, you've been signing for absolutely hours with hundreds of fans. Uh, uh, how did it go down? You know, it was, they laughed everywhere they were supposed to laugh. I think they were <laughs> grossed out everywhere they were supposed to be grossed out. Audiences. Uh -huh. I think have a really good time with it. It was really good, very kind of influenced by Rob Zombie. Yeah, it was really gory, great fun, throwback to the 80s, really enjoyed it. Got like that blood feeling, it's got like Texas Chainsaw feeling, it's got like a really old horror film and a really new horror film. Now tell me about some of the sort of high gore sort of set pieces in the film. There's a particularly nasty climax, I believe. We do have a, a, a young man um, being skinned alive and then deep fried. Because in the South, as they say, everything tastes better fried. After having been grossed out by redneck zombies and human jerky, we caught up with British director Stephen Shield after his premiere of Mum and Dad. Mum and Dad is a brutal and perverse horror film about a murderous family who live in a house at the end of an airport runway and send their adopted children out to get people from the airport to bring back to the house for the mum and dad to torture and kill. It, it came from a few different places basically. I, I grew up next to Heathrow Airport so that's where that kind of setting came from but also there, there's, there's a long tradition in American horror of doing like these messed up family films and I really wanted to do a British version of that because there hadn't really been a British version of it and also I love 70s British horror and that kind of fed into it as well so trying to do something that was along those lines that was a bit a bit sleazy, a bit exploitation-y and, and a bit wrong. People told me some bits of it are, are, are kind of almost too much or kind of a bit beyond the pale, which I kind of I kind of like because I like the fact that horror can have this real kind of sort of visceral effect that it can make people feel kind of really sort of disgusted and, and, and repulsed. Fresh from the edit was another British shocker, Freak Dog. We spoke to its director, Peddy Brethneck, and actor Andrew Lee Potts. A world premiere, nobody's seen it, my girlfriend hasn't seen it, family haven't seen it, nobody. So, very first time, virgin film. Freak Dog's about a group of medical students who compromise themselves because they get some drugs from the pharmacy in the hospital that they shouldn't have and they give them to somebody who gets into uh, some medical difficulties with them and they try and cover it up. But one of them uh, tries to resuscitate this guy and that leads him to go into a state where he can from his coma, he can possess people and uh, seek revenge on all the other people who did him wrong. I play Kenneth, aka Freak Dog, uh, who is, how, how would you describe it, an autistic self-mutilating porter who works in a hospital. I suffer from epilepsy in it and I'd seize every time I'm killing somebody and it's all a bit. So yeah, I mean, it, it was hard work. Doing Primeval like every year and stuff, I play such a, you know, kind of, lovable geek type character in that he's so nice to go and play the absolute opposite you know as in a killer a serial killer i have no sense whether people are going to like it or not i think it's a really good film but will they go for it or not i haven't a clue so i'm kind of completely out there waiting for it to happen well we've had 10 boundary breaking movies now as day two comes to its bloody climax but that means there's still 17 more movies to go. So don't miss my next horror report here on Zone Horror. Till then, sweet dreams.